<laughs> so we figured out how to keep him in his bed. <laughs> So we got this back <laughs> this massage is my gun. Present, Cause I always want like my back. I was gonna say rub, but more like punched. <laughs> so we got one of these. Like after big long brand, thrifting like, days, it's like one of those Theragun things, but like just at Amazon. Amazon brand, special, so. yeah. For a tenth of the price, but anyways, yeah, it works for him too. <laughs> he does love it. So. What are you going trying to get covered? What are you, you cover him? It looks like he's trying to get covered. You want to get covered? You're going to get hot and then move. That's what you do. That's what <laughs> you do. That's a good boy. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, we uh, we go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we're going to – we have a What's Old video for you today. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Might be a two-day video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't have too many sales today. What's up? There you are. There's a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have too many sales today. Yeah, I didn't list yesterday, so because it was my birthday, I just yeah. hung out and listed today instead. So the sales should start coming in tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah. So let's pull oh, from me. box AK. Yeah, yesterday we did just kind of like a little thrifting adventure. So if you haven't I'm seen that video, that's my goal for the month. So as long <laughs> as I'm there, I'm good. I'm happy. <laughs> Stay there. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is just a Travis Matthew men's polo shirt. Um, I have one other item listed by this brand, but I've never, s that one's still for sale. So. I've never sold it, but I see other people do well with it, and I love golf brands, so I picked it up for $4.99 just last week, I think, and only listed it like yesterday or the day, well, not yesterday, because it was my birthday, but the day before, um, and it sold already for $25 plus shipping, so nice. definitely a good brand to look out for. Um, I think the other thing I have is more of a jacket, so I have it priced kind of high, so I probably should drop the price on that one. Uh, Sold on Mercari. Um, and this next one did too. Also, just listed a couple days ago. This is the brand Dynafit, which I've only sold one other time and it was a pair of shoes, but this is like a pullover. Anyways, the retail on this, like when I looked it up to kind of figure out what the style was called and stuff, this retailed for like 99 bucks or something. I thought that was crazy. Um, but I listed it for 35 plus ship, expecting an offer. Got an offer the first day it was listed for 28 and yeah, I accepted. I only have four bucks into that, so. Sweet. Really good. We'll put that in a different, cuter poly mailer. <laughs> oh, Shipping Hips um, holiday release is tomorrow. You guys will probably see this video the day of the release, so. It's Thursday, so if you see this video on the 18th, yeah, on the 18th, Shipping Hip has like two Christmas, they're not super Christmassy, I mean, anyways, we have a code below <laughs> if you want to get some tomorrow when you see yeah. this video, so it'd get you 15% off and then they ship everything for free, so I will be ordering my, I'm going to get a pack of, they have three different ones, probably going to get two of the three and I'll order them right in the morning. They did say they're not going to be restocking the holiday ones and also not offering discounts on Black Friday for them, so I don't want them to sell out before I get right. um, These are just some Nike Renew sneakers. I have $6.99 into these. They sold on Posh for $40 with discount shipping, so someone accepted my Posh or VA offer that one out. Happy with that. I'm going to send those out in a medium flat rate box. Um, and then DJ. I just some Clark's tassel loafers. Really good shape. That's the reason I bought them. They were $7.99 and they sold for $25 plus ship. So not super huge money, but I knew that they would sell. I did make some money. I'm happy. That's FedEx Smart Post. We've kind of stopped using FedEx Smart Post now that they offer the UPS one. So I got to find a box in the closet, but that's what those that will go in. Or we could use a poly mailer, although yeah. a box would be better just because they're shoes, leather shoes. I like them. Yeah. A box, but yeah, I prefer UPS to FedEx. That's the only reason I say that's what we started using now. 
their tracking system just seems a lot better to me. Mm. Um, a lot of times on FedEx, the package will just be in transit, but not tell <laughs> right. you at all where. So yep. that bugs me. <laughs> I sold another third love bra. I pulled it out because my closet's a little messy. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this sold on Posh. No one accepted the Posh VA offer in the night. $30 with discount shipping on that. Nice. Those. Um, I'm not sure what box I'm going to use for that yet. It's Poshmark, so we have... A lot of choices. Basically any of the yeah. <laughs> priority boxes we can use on that. Um, and then box I. These are just some fry, like slip-on shoes. So Fry is generally known for their like tall leather boots and stuff. Yeah. Those are the ones that retail for like hundreds and usually you can even resell pre-owned ones for like a hundred, but these are just, they're not even leather. So I got these at Plato's Closet on one of their like 70 or 90% off sales. So I paid three bucks for them and sold them for 20 plus ship. These sat in a death pile for probably <laughs> over a year before they even got listed. But I think I only listed them like a week ago. So they sold fast for 20 bucks. Yeah. Bless Hopefully we'll do a little bit better because I think we have these. These are fried, right? From yeah. yesterday? I just bought these yesterday. I just need you to take the numbers off. Of yeah, them. I got to take numbers off all the shoes we got yesterday. Yeah, mess up my nail polish. That's nope. going to last the whole week. So. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So that's what sold today so far. Yeah, that's what sold today. We'll get it packed up and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got everything all packed up, ready to go. <laughs> and I think we discovered a new trigger word for Reese. <laughs> well, we, we don't. <laughs> I asked him if he wanted a massage, and he started going crazy like this. <laughs> so I don't know what he thinks I'm saying, but I don't think he thinks I'm. I don't think he's relating massage to this thing, definitely. <laughs> he's just. What do you think? You want a massage? You want Lay on one? your bed. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> What do you? <laughs> what do you think we're saying? Where are we gonna get a massage at? Oh. I don't know. Do you want some carrots too? Oh. <laughs> we can definitely get some carrots. <sighs> some of you probably never seen Reese's active. <laughs> I'm feeling better. Um, I forgot to thank some coffees yeah. at the beginning since we were talking about massaging Giving. a dog. <laughs> so, um, Look, only on the Ginger Marvin YouTube channel. Yeah. So these, so Melinda um, bought us some more copies. She just bought us some last week. Said happy birthday. Basically sing me the happy birthday song and read it. Oh. And said some other nice things. I don't, all right, I'll just read it. Would you be quiet? Happy birthday to you. Beautiful, kind, giving, hardworking, kick butt mamba. So oh. I don't know if I believe most of those <laughs> things, but thank you so much. Thanks so much um, for the support, Melinda. And then Rosanna also bought one and said, this is a happy birthday coffee for Kathy. I saw on Instagram, it's her birthday. Love watching you and Chris. My oh. husband and I have been reselling since May. And awesome. we have been a huge inspiration. Thanks. Thank so. you so much for that. Thank Thanks for all the support so and the much. kind words, guys. I think Reese, uh, I, I want, are you thinking we're saying outside or something? Can we go Massage? for a walk or something. What can you I'm think? i come in a car to go to the school. <laughs> Anyway, guys, today's video didn't end up being too long, so we are going to make this a two-part video, and we'll add in tomorrow's sales right now, after I give Reese uh, <laughs> some carrots and calm him down a little bit. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. It's Thursday afternoon, and I think we have a few more sales than we did yesterday. We're going to get into that, but I think Kathy is going to thank you guys for some coffees real quick. Hey guys, yeah, we have two coffees from Laura, and she said happy birthday, Kathy. Hope you had a fabulous, fabulous, <laughs> fabulous day. Love watching your videos every day and look forward to them. Thank you so much for sharing your knowledge with us. I learn something new every day and gracie Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't read. Um, greatly appreciate both you and Chris. So awesome. Thank you, Laura. Thank you so much for that, Laura. Um, and Jennifer also bought us two coffees and said, happy birthday, Kathy. Thanks for putting yourself out there. Even though you don't like being the center of attention, <laughs> you two are my fave. Kiss Reese for me. Yeah, he, whoa. <laughs> he just put his own self in his bed. I didn't have to bribe him or anything yeah, today. He's, he's a sleepy boy. He's a good guy. Here you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's my baby guy. He's always ready for tummy rub, though. <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, thank you so much, Jennifer and Laura. Thank you so much for all the support, Jennifer, Laura, <laughs> and all of our amazing viewers. We do have the best viewers on YouTube. <laughs> yes. Thank you. We do. All right, I sold this pan. We pulled it out to stub uh, because there's another one. I don't want to get it mixed up. So got the right one pulled out. And this sold for $22.14 plus shipping on eBay. Um, so I've sold a bunch of revereware in like my spreadsheet. I don't know. There was only one left in my spreadsheet and it said I got it at the bins for $1.63. So I assume that's this one, although we still have one more over there. So I don't know if I just didn't type it in or what, but. Mm -hmm. I have between $1.63 and probably $4.99 is what that would have been if I bought it at a normal Goodwill. So, decent little sale either way. And yeah, happy with that. Yeah, it seems Revere wear stuff or little pots and pans are sitting a lot longer. Yeah. Um, so, we're, we're probably going to. What are you looking at? Um, yeah, yeah. Unless yeah. we find a killer deal on some stuff, you know. Or... The only one that I probably would keep looking out for would be all clad. And I do peek through the kitchen just because I keep wanting to find that Lay Crusette or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've never found that yet, but I want to find something by that at a thrift store. I see it at estate sales and stuff, but they know what it's worth. Yeah. So they're always pricing it at like a hundred bucks. So I think Magnolite has some like old, yeah. like the, the big yeah, roasting pots and stuff. Those, something like that. I'd the art it. deco look. I think those are good to look out for, but these everyday little frying pans yeah. and little pots and pans, I Definitely think we're going to stay away the, from. Like, roaster type things. Yep. On any brand that's a good brand would probably be worth it. But yeah, if I'm going to buy a pan because of the cleaning that it takes, I'd yeah. be looking at at least a $40 plus sale probably. Right. For me to think it's worth it. So tried it. Didn't like it. Yep. <laughs> Moving yep. on. Um, I just like shoes. And I mean, we've made nice. money on all every one yeah. that we've sold. It's just there's a lot of cleaning. It's a lot of cleaning that we don't like to do. <laughs> yep. But we're trying to improve processes and make things easier, yeah. not harder. So, um, but if that's what you can find in your area, it's definitely something that will sell. So. All right. So this Rockies pullover. So we got this at that garage sale where we got a ton of stuff. All the what are those manga books? Oh, yeah, yeah. New Wave Oven. We still haven't listed. What do we pay? Like five bucks for everything. So yeah. it came out to 24 cents a piece. So that's what I have in this. And it's over $15 plus shipping. It's pretty, it's pretty like icky on the inside. Not like in a bad way. I don't know. It just like has that weird lining that's like really pilly. But oh, on the it inside, fills up. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I was happy with 15, 24 cents into 15 bucks. So. I'm gonna put that in a bigger poly mailer. Yeah. Probably it's not something we would source regularly, but we got no. it for 25 cents. <laughs> yeah, I don't love sports stuff to begin with. It has to be something kind of special, but yeah, at garage sale or bins pricing, I pretty much grab anything. Right back over here, BB. BB, BB <laughs> dog. Little BB dog. Uh, this is that cabbie dress I just got last week at the bins. So I have 65 cents into this and it's over 32 plus shipping. That was an offer someone sent me and I accepted. And let's go this poly mailer. Shipping hit did release their holiday ones today, so I grabbed all three prints even though I said I only wanted two. I did a smaller quantity than I normally do. I normally do a hundred, but because they're kind of Christmassy, I just went with 50 of each. So hopefully I can get through them in a month. Um, another thing from the bins last week, this is the little thumper plush. I was so surprised by the comps on this. I didn't look up comps at the bins because it's a plush, it weighs like eight ounces. Mm -hmm. um, I was thinking I'll probably get 10, 15 bucks plus shipping out of it. And once I looked up comps, these are selling for like 30 to 35 bucks. Wow. Plus shipping. Um, <laughs> so I listed mine at 35. I did get interest on, I had it listed less on Facebook. I think 25 plus ship and people, I had a few people ask if I would take less. I just ignored their messages. Yeah. I'm a bad <laughs> Facebook marketplace seller, but anyways. <laughs> Um, it sold on Mercari for 31 plus shipping. So I had it on auto price drop, I think down to like 29. So when it dropped to 31, someone just bought it outright. Very happy with that. Yeah. What are we gonna put that in? It's a little bit too big for a normal poly. Ready. Awesome, box P. I feel like my 
hair is super static. <laughs> it is starting to be that time of year where it's like cold. Yeah, the cold fronts give you static and all. Yeah. Stuff. It's, it's a cold day today. <laughs> I think we woke up and it was like in the teens this morning. So it was pretty, pretty cold in a high <laughs> of 40. It was a day for our seven year old. So like we try to dress him in like athletic shorts yeah. or something. And so it was not a short stay today for sure. <laughs> He's um, too young to be able to like change at school. I know like in middle yeah. school and stuff, you can change in the locker room, but <laughs> they don't really so, do that in elementary school. He has some unathletic, just normal sweatpants <laughs> on. Uh, these are just some little baby John Deere crib booties. I sell these all the time. These ones are kind of cool though. I've never seen this colorway. Um, but I got them from Once Upon a Child. I have 234 into them and they sold in just a couple days for 17 plus shipping. So I always pick those up for a couple bucks. They make me $10, $15 profit easily all the time. All right. And box W. These are some little Nike shorts, just some basic gray athletic shorts. I listed them on Posh for $28, thinking someone would offer me $15 or $20, and I would accept, but somebody bought them for $28, so very happy with that. Um, I got those on a half-off day at a local thrift, so I paid $2.50 for them, so really good sale. Basically a $20 profit. I'm very happy with that for yeah. a pair of basic Nike shorts. Right. <laughs> You made more money than wh whatever store sold them first. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably true. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how much Nike shorts cost. I know I've never paid that much for some. Just gonna put those in a Tyvek since it's Poshmark. Uh, box T. I keep thinking you're gonna come back this way. <laughs> yeah, I keep thinking I am too, I don't know why. I feel like most of the stuff I sold was recently listed, which means it's probably over here. Yeah. I try to fill up this general area and then when it gets full, I go over there, but. Yeah, one cool thing to do with your inventory or one thing you can do is anything that you think is gonna sell quick, try to keep it close to where you are gonna be pulling from totally. so you don't have to <laughs> make a bunch of trips back and forth. Put your longer tail items further away, your short tail items close. Unless you're trying to get your steps in or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> or then do the opposite. I always forget <laughs> to wear my watch. Yeah. So. Um. Yeah, this is just a cut from the cloth blouse that I also got at the bin. So that's three of my bins items just from when we went with Fry Resellers the other week. Um, just in one day. So that was a good sale. This was on Posh for, I think I listed it at like 25. Someone offered 15. I accepted. I only have 45 cents into it. So awesome. I'm just coming here because I'm grabbing <laughs> this stuff from me. So another Tyvek. Then box X. This was listed not super long ago, but probably a few months ago. Also from the bins, but a different bin strip. Um, I have $1.39 into it. The brown, the brown, oh my gosh, I, I need to go to speech therapy. How much coffee have you had today? <laughs> I am on my second. <laughs> that so explains it, that explains it. You're hyped uh, up on caffeine. I guess. I <laughs> Guys, know. stop buying her coffee. She's going all <laughs> overboard. <laughs> um... Yeah, so $1.39. The brand is Roundtree in York, which generally I would never pick that brand up, but at the bins I would, and it was a really nice Polar Tech, thick, nice fleece. Like, this felt as good of quality as my Patagonia fleeces, so. Nice. Grabbed it, sold for $15.91 plus shipping on eBay, so awesome. It's over a pound, definitely too big for a padded flat rate, so I did have to pay a two pound rate on that. So I could do a big poly, but I like boxes, so I'll probably just do a box on that but I don't know which one at the moment. <laughs> All right, um, last but not least, these Columbia snow boots. Been waiting for these to sell. <laughs> um, these are from my Once Upon a Child snow boot haul day, so I have 807 into them, and they sold for 3111 plus shipping on eBay. Very nice. Those, I'm just gonna pull a box from the closet, I believe they were a little over two pounds and the only usps box they would have fit in would have been the 13 by 13 by 9 which would have been a little bit too heavy to keep them under three pounds so, yeah yeah i'm gonna do my own box on those ones save a few cents yeah i saved like 70 something cents. <laughs> <laughs> cool well, we're gonna get this stuff packed up and then we'll be right back quiet guys don't wake up reesey <laughs> 
He hasn't moved a muscle. <laughs> Sleeping deep mm -hmm. today. That cold weather got you like this, huh? <laughs> you go away all Always night. ready for a tummy rub, though. I know you are. I know you are. <laughs> all right, guys, we got everything all packed up. Yeah. No new sales come in yet. I need so. to finish my listings for today. I got half of them done, so I still missed. I don't know if we ever did the board yesterday, but I missed listing on my birthday. Really, <laughs> He's like, where's my tummy rub? Really? <laughs> yeah, so I did miss my birthday listing, even though I had yeah. prepared all the drafts and everything for them. I just never put them up. So I did those drafts the next day, and then... I have extras right now. I've already done eight this morning, so I need to do seven more today. But we kind of, Chris got a haircut, we got yeah. some lunch. I went into Goodwill while he was getting a haircut. Got some more shoes. Well, you've probably seen our pile of shoes here. That's not the show. Yeah, I haven't today, shown but. yet, <laughs> but yeah, Kathy oh, yeah, our whole photographed a bunch of, of yeah, today, huh? yeah, yeah. So yeah. she's been lots of shoes. So yeah, doing a lot of shoes. Only need to list seven more today, but I photographed over twenty pairs. So I'm doing good. But <laughs> yeah. Yep. So we're gonna get this stuff off and take it to the post office. Go pick up the boys from school. And tonight is swimming lessons, and I think Kathy's gonna take the boys. I'm gonna try to get some more flooring done. Um, it's been taking a lot longer. <laughs> so on the flooring, like we have a concrete slab for our foundation and like the, all the exterior walls, they didn't finish flattening out the slab. So every time I run into an exterior wall, I have to like grind and chip out the concrete to make it level, you know, and flat so that I can actually put the flooring on there. So that has really been slowing me down on the flooring, which is kind of a bummer, but and Connor's room, which is where I'm in now, has two exterior walls. So two of his four walls I have to do this to. So I'm gonna be grinding and pounding on concrete for the rest of the night. <laughs> and so um anyway guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Look at this guy. <laughs> she tucked Buffalo him all in. Plan burrito. <laughs> Guy. He He's is okay. living it up. <laughs> He's a good boy. Yeah, you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks to all of our amazing and supportive viewers. We appreciate all the support, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>